Hi, welcome to the Disney vlog. I am so excited you're here. This is probably one of my favorite vlogs we've made in a very long time. Um, it's a lot of explaining and showing, which I think is super cool. Uh, so me and a lot of my friends and family, we went to Disney to celebrate life and worlds as well. And we took you along for the journey. So we show a lot of transfers, how I get from the rides to my chair, chair to rides, all the fun stuff, and how I fly on an airplane and transfer. So I think I've explained enough. I'm gonna let you get into the video and watch it and see for yourself. So I'll see you at the airport, bright and early. We made it to the airport. We just went through security and it was so easy. I have a TSA pre-check, which we didn't have last time. And all they had to do was wipe my hands with like a little wipe and then they put it in a machine and tested it or something and then they're like, okay, you're good to go. That was literally it, it was so easy. So if you're in a wheelchair, I highly recommend that, especially because I have core function. So last time they had to like pat me down and it was a whole process. Cause I had to have people help me and everything. And take shoes off. Yeah, so TSA pre-check. Successfully made it on the plane. Um, you gotta see a little bit of how I transfer. So basically they take me from my wheelchair, put me on that little wheelchair, um, aisle chair, I guess you could call it. Go down the aisle chair backwards to my seat. Just happens we're in the back this time, which actually I prefer just because getting out and everything, it's easier. Um, and then they have a person behind me, a person up front, pick me up behind my knees and my shoulders and put me on the seat. And then you can't really see it, but I sit on my seat cushion um, so I don't get pressure sores. Again, I can't feel if something's uncomfortable. Um, so just my cushion helps with pressure sores. It's not a long flight, but still. And then obviously I wear my seat belt. And then I also have a gate belt that I just put on my chest just for the extra layer of protection and just for comfort, honestly. So I, it's around the chair and holds your chest to the yeah. chair. Cause again, if you're new here, I can't control um, my chest. I can't control anything below basically my shoulders. Um, when we take off and everything, I. I'll go flying. When we I'll land is the big thing. Come and in. when we land. So we just put this gate belt on just to some And snub. then me and my mom, we hold her back. Basically, that's it. It's a lot easier than it seems to be. Um, and once you've done it a few times, you've got it down. And I'd say the biggest thing, biggest piece of advice is be nice and the people will be nice back. It's, it was 7.30 when we got here. And you know, no one wants to be at work at 7.30. But as long as you're like a genuine, nice person to people, they'll majority of the time be nice back. So be patient and give everybody grace because we're all trying our best. Um, so yeah. Those like we're training. Hey, look where we are. <laughs> Epcot. So excited. We're so excited. The mm -hmm. trip from the airport to the hotel was good. We got our rooms and everything. Mm -hmm. We're all set up. We're set for a good time. And we're all in our little Disney outfits. We all look so cute. So Everybody has little hats on. Abby. <laughs> we rode our first ride. We rode Frozen Ever After, I believe is what it's called. And I was able to go to guest relations and get um, the DAS pass, um, which basically is for disabled people that just need help. And so basically, I was able to go to the front of the line and then they like held, they, they didn't really hold the line, but they just made sure like we were safe and secure before they went on the ride. And then it was easy due to my size and strength of the others. So they were able to pick me up, put me on the ride, and then we were able to ride in. It was so cute. It was so sweet. And then now we're on our way to Soren. Soren. And we're excited for this one. I think we're gonna ride Soren, Nemo, Ratatouille, and then get some food. We're going on Nemo. We're going under the sea. Nemo 
was so cool. The like transition on, that was really neat. I never noticed that before. Uh, and it was, I didn't have to do anything. I just gotta sit and they did it for me. And it like wasn't scary or anything. Now we're going to Ratatouille. <laughs> last ride we rode was Ratatouille. Oh my gosh. My favorite ride at Disney. It was so fun. Um, so we transferred me into the little mouse. Um, and so all of us were able to ride together and then you wear like 3D glasses. It was so cool. If you go to Epcot, you have to ride it. It was, ugh. it was amazing. I loved it so much. I could have ridden it multiple, multiple times. I am very sleepy. It's 10.30, which isn't late, but we've been up since four, right? And I'm exhausted, we're all exhausted. Um, it's been a very long day, but so exciting. Our first day at Disney, and we went to Epcot. We got to show you a little bit of the transfers on some rides, um, and how some rides I got to stay in my wheelchair, which is super cool. Uh, I hope to show more of that in the following days. Tomorrow, I don't know the full plan. I'm just kind of going with whatever is happening. Um, but I know that she does in like large co-ed performs around 6.30 in the afternoon. So we're gonna go watch that at ESPN Worldwide of Sports. Um, and tomorrow's like kind of our chill day. So I think we're gonna sleep in a little bit and then maybe go to the pool, go shopping. I don't really know what the plan is, but I'm excited. Um, but first we need a full night's of rest because we're all exhausted. So I will see you in the morning. Good morning, it's day two. And this morning I was not feeling well, very dehydrated from yesterday and just exhausted. Um, we tried to get me up like a few times and my blood pressure and body just couldn't handle it. So I had to miss breakfast I stayed in the room and slept while everybody else went to breakfast. Um, and then they brought me food back. But we are gonna go to the pool. I haven't been outside yet, so I don't know the temperature. They said it's warm, but not warm enough to like lay out, you know? So, I don't know, we're gonna go. I'm wearing a bathing suit for the very first time, which I'm so, well, mm, that's kind of a lie. A bikini for the first time. And I'm wearing, I'll show you it in a second. It's from Albion. Lavender, of course. It's so cute. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go down there. I have to take, I'm gonna take pictures in it um, for an Instagram post, and then we'll see what's happening from there. But today's day one for cheetahs, and we're gonna go watch them. So we're gonna go over there to ESPN later and get some four, of course. Um, so I'm super excited about that. It's kind of nice. Not having to like be nervous about competing and everything. I think it'll be fun just to go over there and like be in the atmosphere and experience it, but not have to worry about like yourself because you're not performing. So we'll see. We're at the pool. I'm laying out. Okay, okay. I have a tattoo right here. Honey. Honey. And my papa Sam riding. Anyways. We're Shanlin at the pool. We're gonna lay out for a few hours and then we're gonna go back. The camera accidentally switched to time lapse. Not sure how that happened. But you get a nice quick overview of the afternoon and evening. I got to go backstage and watch Cheetahs, which if you don't know is my old cheer team that I was on this year until I got hurt. Um, and then I gotta go backstage, like I said, um, and watch them perform. And then after that, I got interviewed by Flo Cheer, and then I got to talk and take pictures with a bunch of people, a bunch of y'all, and I absolutely loved it. <laughs> We're going to Magic Kingdom today, and ask me how excited I am right now. How excited I am. So excited, so excited. The outfit is gorge. <gasps> Frozen ears. Queen Elsa. Queen little Elsa jumpsuit. Today. Got a little jumpsuit. It's literally from Amazon. And it is 
so comfy. And then I'm wearing golden gooses, which it does. A perk is it doesn't matter what shoes I wear because my feet aren't gonna hurt. So I'm not complaining. But I am so excited for Magic Kingdom. My favorite park by far. Um, we're gonna do all the rides. I wanna get Dole Whip if we have time. I know, I mean, we will, but. We'll make time. We'll make time, but the lines are always long, which as they should be. Mom! Hi. Good you could wear your Kevin hat today. That's your hat. Well, today is pink and purple day. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, mom has her pink. We wanted to do like colors that one day coordinated, so we picked pink and purple. Yes. Mom has her little shirt on. Matt has purple. My pink Sherpa ears. And then we'll show the other girls once we go with them. The beast came by, you saw me waving to him. Someone thought it was very funny. <laughs> Show yourself. And now we're gonna go ride Haunted Mansion. And then we're gonna do like Pirates of the Caribbean, a few other rides. Pictures and shopping. Going under the sea. We're going under the sea. And look, our little clamshell doesn't have like a little line on top. <laughs> for this ride, it was super easy. Where I just sat down so I can sit one person with me, which is like any other thing, like everybody can only have two people, and then they just roll me right in. Okay. thing I vlogged was the Little Mermaid. After the Little Mermaid, we had a reservation at Tony's, which is the Italian restaurant from Lady and the Tramp, um, which is like at the front of Main Street. So we went up there and we had dinner and Ryan and I just shared a pizza. And then um, after that, we went into the confectionery and um, we got caramel apples. And then they connected to a store that I had my eye on earlier that I wanted to go in. It was the Disney Vault, since it's like the 50th collection. They had like a bunch of like retro looking stuff. So I went in there and I found this sweatshirt and I absolutely love it. It's just simple, classic Disney sweatshirt. It's a yellow and navy blue and I absolutely love it. And it's like, it looks like it's been worn. Yeah, see, it's it's like, like, and then I put it on and it feels like you've just had it for a long time. I love best. it so much. But we are home by the time that we were just now eating yesterday. It's like nine. So, yeah, it's like 9.30-ish. 9.25. It's 9.25. And I think we're gonna eat our caramel apples that we got and then just chill and go to bed probably pretty soon. And then we have a book day tomorrow still. We're having so much fun and I have had absolutely like a great experience so far with Disney and everything like the lines, the rides, everything. It's been amazing. So I got the DAS pass obviously 
and that has been a lifesaver because it like it would just the whole trip would have been so much different the lines are so long like the wait times and like we just gonna go right up this is pretty awesome i'll see you tomorrow bright and early for animal kingdom good morning animal kingdom day i'll show you the fit i'm wearing a kevin hat uh inappropriate trucker hat and then i'm just wearing a black and white outfit and mariah and i are twinning mm. Mm, she likes it, I don't. Well, she actually copied me because I had it on first and she wasn't supposed to wear that today, so. Anyways, Anyways we're, we're going to Animal Kingdom and I think we're gonna ride a few rides. I don't know if we're gonna spend the whole day there, um, but yeah, I think we might just chill and go with the flow. I think we're going to try to ride Avatar. First. Oh my gosh, yes. Michaela has never ridden that before, so it's so exciting. I rode it last year for the first time, and it was amazing. Literally, probably one of my favorite rides. Um, so I'm really excited for her to experience that. We're not 1,000% sure if she can ride it. Um, just because it like, you sit on it like a motorcycle, and then it like tilts back and forth, and she doesn't really have control, that much control of her body, so I'm scared if it, when it tilts sideways, that she might just fall off. So, fingers crossed. And then some of us are gonna ride um, Expedition Everest, and Mac will watch us. And then we're gonna do like the safari. We wanna try the Avatar boat ride, I haven't ridden that. Oh yeah, I haven't ridden that either. That. Um, it's always fun to ride rides for the first time, you know, because you don't know what you're gonna do. What to expect. So I'm super excited. We're very excited about today. <laughs> Um, we were just walking, trying to go to the Avatar ride, and I screamed, and everybody was like, what, what? I was like, Kevin! And so, you saw the video, you saw the clip, and it was so funny. I'm so glad I met Kevin. And then we rode the Avatar Flight of Passage, and I was a little nervous about that. I saw Roll With Cole rode it, um, but I just, I didn't know how it was gonna go. So, we, they picked me up, like one person on both sides put me on, locked me in, and I just had to lock out my arms. That was the only thing. The ride made my stomach feel like weird. Like my stomach didn't know how to handle the feelings. Like some parts like my stomach drops and stuff, but I don't know, it was just all over the place. And then even after the ride, my stomach was like, what? Um, but yeah, I had my mom and Mariah on both sides of me and they kind of held onto my arms just to make sure they were stable. They were riding it too, but it was really fun. And then we're going on the Kilimanjaro Safari, which I'm so excited about because I love this ride. And they've never been on it, so I'm excited. So we are back from Animal Kingdom and we rode all the rides we wanted to. We did the safari ride and then both the Avatar ones and I like the Flight of Passage better than like the boat ride. Um, but yeah, the transfers weren't too bad. Um, they were worth it, I think. And then we got some food and then decided we were just tired and 
kind of finished all that we wanted to do at the park. So we came back to the resort and we're staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge, so it's not far at all. And now we are going to go to the pool for a little bit and relax. Um, and then we either are going to stay here and order food and chill because we've had a very long few days or we're gonna finish up the trip strong at Disney Springs. So I'm not quite sure. But right now we're headed to the pool. I'm gonna lay out, might get in the pool, probably not, but just be outside in the sun. It's been a few days and I'm gonna catch you up. So we went to the pool, didn't get in the pool, but just kind of, we all just kind of laid in, we're quiet and on our phones because we were exhausted. Um, and then we went back to the hotel room. We got changed and went to Disney Springs and did a last little shopping thing. Um, I got a few gifts for my family and friends and then we had dinner at a Mexican restaurant. Don't remember the name, but that was the final hurrah. Then the next day we got on our flight back to Dallas and we're back home. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thoroughly enjoyed watching, <laughs> watching it myself. Um, I thought it was very informational, hopefully you did too, about the transfers and everything, because it's things you don't really think about. But it was awesome. I could not ask Disney for any more. Like, it was so accessible. Everybody was so nice, all the cast members. They were amazing. So if you're in a wheelchair or have a disability or have challenge with something, Disney's definitely the place to go. They know what they're doing and they've got it under control. Um, but without the DAS pass, I think it would have been a lot more challenging. I think all of it would have been a lot more challenging. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully, I'll get to go back to Disney soon. And I will catch you in the next YouTube video. Bye.